Hello students, this is Sandrup, the Assistant Professor, Department of ISE, and I am here to explain you about the Data Structures Laboratory Programs. Welcome you all to the session. Okay, um, let's uh, read with the problem statement here. So this is how the problem statement goes. So you have to design, develop, and uh, menu-driven program in C for the following operations. Like you have to uh, consider a single linked list, wherein which you have to create it for a student data. That concludes um, URSN name, branch, SEM, as well as a phone number. Okay, and you are supposed to do certain operations like uh, insert it through the front end and you have to uh, bring out how many number of nodes are there and you are also supposed to insert and delete it from the end and also from the front of your single linked list and also you have to demonstrate the single linked list as a stack and also has a queue so these are all the things which you have to um, implement uh, right now okay uh, that's what will be <coughs> the scenario okay as you already um, uh, know about uh, the other data structures like stacks queues arrays and everything they are basically a linear data one <coughs> okay now um, we'll, we'll we'll take one operation by one operation something like that now uh, when i am opening with a program so these are all the things which we are been going to do okay um, what is that the first thing which we have been focusing on is the structure as i already told you you are basically going with this particular part what you are doing is you're creating you you have a notes say something like this and this is what you have been creating right so you have a notes there are n number of notes you assume so for a time being or constraints i have been writing only three notes okay um, always you require a pointer to identify what is the first particular node okay to first node will be identified so there is an variable by name first and that first is the one which holds the starting node of any particular linked list okay this is what is been there in the scenario now this is what is there now after this this will be going and after this this will be going and so on and so forth but but what i have explained in the node in the previous example or the previous explanation it was only two there was only one information part and there was only one link part but the question says you need to consider usn name branch you need to consider the same you need to consider the phone number okay since you have so many things one node constitutes something like this the first one would be usn next one would be the name next one would be the branch next one would be the sem then will be the phone number then will be the link so this is what your uh, particular <coughs> node will be looking like so this is represented by usn and this is represented by name and this is represented by branch this is represented by semester this is represented by phone number and this would be your next particular address of link okay this is how the entire thing will be formed how 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 this particular formation is been done this formation is been done with the help of your structure this one okay so when i say a struct student it constitutes everything okay it constitutes everything something like this and to note and to to give a point over here here you are storing an address so when when there is an uh, word address you should always be knowing that there is a concept of pointer coming in you you directly cannot use any random variable to store the address correct you're going with a pointer hence you are next is going with a pointer here you can able to see that okay and then we require few uh, uh, variables say something like this as a first we are taking a first as null we are taking another one that is temp we are taking one more that is new node we are taking previous we are taking current so these are something like your as in your arrays you are going with i j q and all those things so those are all the indexing same way here also you are going with index and to note one more thing over here you are going with a user defined data type what is that user defined data type capital n o d that is everything you are going to define from now on um, <clears throat> or everything you're gonna um, uh, uh, use or to declare anything so everything is in terms of your nodes so how does a node look like the node look like something like 
this is how i have already mentioned you up here so node looks something like this so when a node is looking something or like this so it requires everything to be created in the same fashion and that's why you you have you're creating a user defined data type how you are creating a user defined data type with the help of your type definition so this type definition will define a new type of what structured node to what to a particular node so now capital node is a new data type which consisting of everything something like this when i say node you are looking at something like this one individual node now what is that one individual node is all about this is what you have to say now i i know that i have to get an input of us and i need to get an input of name i need to get an input of uh, branch sem phone number how do i get that first before i tell that i memory needs to be allocated i already explained you with the help of your malloc okay so you are getting a size of node and that will be allocated to a new node okay now i am calling uh, this entire thing as a new node now i i need to take the input for my usn i took it i took an input for my name i took it i took an input for my branch and so on and so forth i am taking it and i will be making my next as null that is i assume that this is the only node which i am trying to create and this is how i create one individual node okay getting it so this is how we have been going to create one individual nodes now so this this is up with the uh, uh, basic introduction or the uh, initial opening of your particular program like what exactly you mean by a structure and what will be there inside your structure and how exactly and each and every individual nodes look like okay and so on and so forth so the, those are all the things which has been there uh, and that's what been explained did to you uh, till now okay now we'll 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 move uh, a little further and and to also note you over here you have um, a structure and that structure definition is been ended with a semicolon you not to be forget see this one you have to end a, a structure with a semicolon okay this is what um, the another part which you are been going to um, take up okay and then into uh, the next requirements that is you have to insert it to the front now what do you mean by insert to the front means you already have a particular linked list say assume you have a linked list which has been existing something like this now you have to insert one more linked list over here the, that you have created now this blue color one which i have writing this is the one with the, the new node when i when i say this particular line this got created now only thing which i need to do here is this next part i have to link it to my first since this will be my first particular uh, node so i'll be linking this then always i have to say whatever the first starting node that starting node would be my first node um so this particular uh, first will be replaced and will be taken by this particular name that is here first this is what insert front is all about now you'll have to go for delete front they are all star and see um read front now what supposed to be happening here is so when you take a list something like this like a list of three nodes okay i am supposed to delete this node what will be the output afterwards so you will be having a list of two nodes correct so as i already mentioned you this is the one first node starting node is the one which will be represented by the first indexing okay 
now there may be a chances of there is no list at all that is empty empty means you are you will be telling something like this if first is going to null that is if first is equals to null means i i, I say the list is empty and that's all i cannot able to return or i cannot able to delete i will be going back so that is my first case that is delete friend if not that is the case then what i have supposed to do i have supposed to do this what if the second case second case will be this one if you have only one node that is if you have only one node and this is your first node so what happens if you delete this it will be an empty node correct so this is what we've been explained over here no uh, if your first of link or first of next will be equals to null which means to say there is only one particular node at that time you are supposed to free free means you are deleting it completely you are deallocating the memory so you free that and then you initialize your first is equals to null and then you return back so this is your case 2 where in which you have only one node in this this is the case 3 scenario which we are been uh, taking up now what is that case 3 scenario you have more than one number of nodes how what do you do to the more than one number of nodes you have already i have already told you you have something to be uh, represented as first which will be telling me what is the first particular node of my linked list so this is the one node which i need to delete how do i need to delete if i need to delete i will be taking the second node now how i will be taking the second node as so first i will be taking this one as my temp okay temp will be equals to first at that particular point i will be moving my first to this location now my first will be containing into this location at that time i can able to delete this temp when i say free my temp and finally this will be my first that is what the ultimate thing which i needed correct so i have list of three nodes in the three nodes first node is the one which i need to delete then i need to be knowing what is the next node that are the second node in a list when the second node of a list is been pointed by first i can able to free the first node so that is up with your delete friend okay now we'll take up uh, the next one that is you have to go and do with the insert rar what do you mean by insert rar insert rar means now whatever you have done till now is with respect to the friend now when you are doing with respect to the friend there was no confusions or or nothing in difficult so you, because you were at the starting point you could able to do it now what you have to do it is say example if you have something like this a list of two nodes or three nodes or something like that now this is the one node or the red color one is the node which you are supposed to delete correct now in order to do that you have only one control what is that control only i know what is the first address or what is my what is my first uh, node of a list is this one now what do i need to do i need to go till my end location i need to go till my end location one after the other and i have to point it at this location correct now when i only point at this location then only i can able to delete this particular red node now how do i do that i will take an help of an another variable and that is again called as a temp what does the temp does temp will take the position of whatever my first is that is i will start from the first node and i will keep my friend in the same location i will not touch my friend only i will be incrementing my temp how long till i reach my end point how do i know that i reaching my end point whenever any particular nodes link part is going to null and that is what my end point is correct so till here i have to move on so that is the condition which has been given to you here while temp of next is not equals to null you have to increment now previously you were doing i plus plus for increment same way here in your linked list the increment will be happening something like this temp is equals to temp of next certain uh, in 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 few uh, programs they have used it as link in few programs they have used it in term of node if it is temp of link or temp of node it's one and the same okay uh, uh, sorry temp of link and then temp of next it is one and the same okay now what is this you, when you are doing so many things okay you keep on moving 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 when you reach this end location you are supposed to delete this end location or you are supposed to delete this red particular 
uh, node when you are deleting the red node what is the next thing which you have to keep it into consideration see if you are doing that what will be the output you will be having a list of two nodes correct so this this will be the one which will be pointing with my first no doubt in that and that is what i have to know also and i will be giving it but i will be not knowing what is the end particular location for that to happen see if i will mark it in the green see green is the last but one node correct the last but one node link should be manually appended by null telling that that is the last node you don't have any other nodes next now how do i do that so that will be done in the code which is been told here which has been told here okay one second um let me take a zoom of it okay now here um this is what my delete is all about and this is what my insert is all about correct now what do i need to do first thing let me uh, erase these particular portions um give me a second let me erase and uh, make myself comfortable in explaining um this portions because i whatever i have just explained you is how to move to the last location and how to get the uh, last location details something like that okay now we'll see how to insert first then we'll go how to delete particular uh, node from the rar end okay we'll we'll do that now now i'll i'll take this so this is one node this is another node you have two nodes which has been written now here is the first node first will be noted like this you will have to delete now how do you will have to delete now uh, um you will have i mean sorry you will have to insert now how do you have to insert to insert you need to be having a new node which has been created or i'll directly go up with some other color instead of going with the dotted i'll be going with some other color so green is the one which i have created new one new node this is the new node which has been created now this will be holded by what this will be holded by my temp now who does this this one single line does me that uh, where is that um, this one first will be equals to new node now whenever i am taking with that first will be taking with the new node that is a new node it's getting created here a new node is what we are been calling it as the transparent one if there is no list then the whatever the list which you have created or whatever the node which you have created is the first node or else if you already have something like this you in this example now what do you take you take both temp as well as your uh, first with the same scenario you move till your last location when you get into the last location your temp of link should be going to your new node now this will be called as new node new node you attach this and you return your first and that's up with your insert rar okay now we'll go up with the delete rar how do you do do the delete rar now in your delete rar also as i already told you you might not be having a any list at that case case number 1 will be going that is you don't have any list uh, of any nodes then you say it is empty suppose if you have only one node We, uh, you have only one node and that is the node which needs to be deleted you delete that node and you say uh, i don't have any other nodes to be deleted if other case it is case number 3 is one which we need to take care most what is that you have one node you have two node you have three node okay um, assume this is the node which i need to delete the green color one okay this is the node which i need to delete as i already told you the first particular node is the one which will be represented by index first okay now what do i need to do i need to move till my last location here correct in order to delete this green one 
and i should also append the last but one link to null correct because i have to tell that boss it is not three list of three nodes it is list of two nodes now how do i do that for that to be happening i need to know the addressing of last node as well as last but one node for that i will be taking two index values what is the two index values one i am taking it as current and current will be going with my first and another one i will be taking it as previous previous will be taking with the null okay now what happens is with the current is pointing to the first node previous will be pointing to zeroth node or minus one node or something like that okay now when i am incrementing my current here when i when, when my current come to this location my previous would be in this location when my current comes to this location my previous would be in this location such a way in this particular fashion i have to take care if i am incrementing my current before incrementing my current i have to give my position of current to the previous and then i have to move forward current should be moved forward same thing is happening here you give your current value to the previous your previous is getting moved and you are so so on and so forth you are doing how long you are doing you are doing it until your current says boss i got the end point i got the end point so when do you get your end point whenever you have your null at your this one so this will be your current position and this will be your previous position now you can able to directly delete your current and then say previous of null will be equals to previous of link will be equals to null and that is what which has been happening here and that's it you're done okay then finally you're coming up with your display functions what is the display function is all about display function says you have all the contents inside so you have to just display the contents what is there inside that particular one now i already told you if you have this one and two and then three this is the contents now you already know that the only index you have is first and that will be pointing to this one i'll take an address i'll, I'll take an another reference that is temp so temp will be pointing to my first and what i'll do i'll print all the information part which has been there in my temp and then i'll increment my temp to the next location i'll print all here i'll increment to the next location temp will be incremented to next location i'll print all the contents in my notes how how long i'll be doing it i'll be doing it until unless i get the temp value of link v is going to or next is going to null till then i have to increment so that is what is happening if until your temp is not equals to null you have to keep on incrementing your uh, null and before you increment you print down all the values that's it this is up with your temp is all about if you don't have anything then you say list is empty that is simple that is another case okay now same whatever you have been formulated there all those things you are putting it in terms of your main programs what is that you say one for your create two for your display three for your insert at rare four for your delete at rare so on and so forth everything will be put in the same particular case two display three insert rare four delete rare five insert front six delete front seven exit zero so when i have a seven i will be exiting from that till till that i'll be taking the choice i will be doing certain operations so this is what your program is all about okay thank you um good afternoon uh, today we are going to discuss about the labs it program of uh, data structure laboratories uh, program number 7 okay um what is the uh, that mean is um, you are supposed to go up and uh, do with the linked le structures so what do you mean by linear data structures uh, since you have already known with the concept so linear data structures requires the memory needs to be contiguous okay so suppose if you have 0 1 2 3 4 and then 5 is the memory location which has been continuous and if you are requiring a memory space of 6 then this could be allocated to you okay and in 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 certain scenarios so if i am taking an another example like um, you have the same scenarios you have a memory of say 0 to 5 and assume that there are certain blocks which have been filled say th th this block is filled and this block is filled okay now uh, there is a requirement for something called as 
okay or um, something uh, if, if there is a requirement for three particular uh, blocks at that particular instance you cannot able to um, <coughs> allocate memory from here why because in in terms of your linear data structures the memory needs to be contiguous so if you don't have any contiguous memory something like this in this particular diagram okay so that is what uh, will be the one disadvantages of your linear data structures so hence to overcome this particular one can be provided how by logically linking because you can able to see this how many is required i require only three blocks of memory so i have one block that is in the zeroth location another one at the second location next at the fourth location next at the fifth location i have four blocks empty but my requirement is i have to allocate three blocks i can obviously do that correct but i need to do a little changes there what do i need to do see i'll take one block that is zero i'll take an another block that is two i'll take an another block that is four i'll and then what i do is i logically tell them that boss after your zero you're supposed to go to two not to one and after your two you're supposed to go to your four not to your three so doing this what happens you can able to allocate the memory which has been asked for see there are three blocks of memory which has been required and the three blocks have been allocated to this clear so this is what we call it as a linked list what we are doing is we are take we we call each and every blocks something like this which i have wrote it in a blue color so we call this as a node okay and node consisting of many things we'll we'll take it up later now when every nodes have been picked up with a random address is 0 2 or 4 they can be made continuous with the help of an link that is what i have represented with the help of the red indication so this is what we have been calling it as <coughs> linked list okay we are linking the particular uh, uh, memory allocations not physically but logically we are making it as a continuous one okay this is what it is now we'll we'll, we'll pick it up uh, the, the one particular node that is this this one individual will bring it down so uh, i already told you we call it as a node okay since we call it as a node and every node would be having certain things so what is that one would be an information part so that information part will be there the next one will be the link part these are all the two things which has been very common or these are all the two things which should to be there most and should be there in your linked list so what basically information part is information is the one which contains the data see if i want to store 10 so 10 will be stored up here but what is the another half portion this portion does so this portion will basically doing the <coughs> holding the address of next particular memory allocation that is in if you can able to see this particular example if my address is 0 okay if this particular address is 0 then what would be the next one and next i have to go to the location 2 that will be stored up here so then it will be telling so boss this is the first node and i have an information of 10 then the next particular one is link and that link contains Two. two means it the second physical address or whatever the address which has been there as numbering two i need to go there hence you can make the transition from 0 to 2 something like this same happens here also two will be consisting of four so it will be going after two it will not go to three it will go to four okay it is something like that so how do you say the end that is i am i'm done i'm done so if assume that there are only three at that particular portion you have four in that four also you have a link part this link part will go to null null clear i am making this as null when i say null which means to say that is the end of that particular list okay this is the this is the minimum concept which you have to know uh, before you get into your uh, uh, program okay now uh, uh, let's get back to uh, a particular program